All right, welcome to the example, gentlemen. Good to be here. Good to be here. All right, we got Brother Israel here. Hello, hey. hello. <laughs> you don't have to look at the camera. Just look, this is a conversation, man. You're good, man. <laughs> okay. Look at the conversation. I know you're in the middle, but you know, just, you know, just... gotcha, gotcha. All right, and brother Mike, brother Mike, I'm, 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 aka baby brother. Baby brother. Um, Israel's my uh, middle brother, so okay. we're one of six boys. I'm the I'm the baby. All right, that's all. I'm bad with names. I forgot to say about Mike. Met earlier, Mr. Mike. Thank you, thank you. And uh, we got two strong brothers here that uh, you know that are, are responsible, accountable. And today uh, uh, we're going to talk about. Again, you know, the show is called The Example, so we're portraying uh, good examples of men out here. And these are two other outstanding brothers that we're going to share today. They're going to share their experience on how to be the example. So, so first, now that we're going to start out with these questions, now they're going to be hard. You guys ready? Thank you, ready. 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 <laughs> Brother Israel. Yes, sir. So, so in, in today's, you know, we, you know, there's not a... A lot of standards. You know, everything is more morals are relative today. Um, you saw the videos. Me and brother Michael went out, talked to the colleges <clears> about <throat> moral standards, and a lot of kids they have no standards. Everything is relative. So we want to get a kind of baseline. So leading to my first two questions, my first question is, what is love? That's to you, brother. What is love? Uh, I think love is. Uh Is it is it is is action? I think love. Uh, to give a kind of a biblical perspective, uh, love is God, and God is love. Uh, love is is pure. Uh, love is a power. Uh, you can feel it, uh, and uh, it it impacts lives. Uh, and so, uh, love is is basically it's basically it's uh, word and deed. You, it's word and deed. I can I can say something, but then uh, without a lot of action, it's, it's just it just words. Yeah. But if, if if I if I tell you I love you and and don't ever do anything for you, then they're just empty words. But if I can just bring a I can bring a rose or on your birthday, uh, it's just do something as simple as getting your car. And that deed, uh, I'm actually uh, just transferring. Or uh, manifesting love, indeed, also with words. Mike, again, what um, is love? Love for me, I think it's uh, it's an abstract thing that we can spend. You can probably ask a hundred people, and they probably give you a hundred different answers. But I think it's an abstract thing that many times can have a, a physical manifestation. But it's pretty much it's you know kind of piggybacking off of that. Um, it's it's what you do. It's how you show, you know, it's how you show love to a particular thing or a place or a person. Um, that's, I guess that's the definition of a noun, right? <laughs> person, place, a thing. But um, that's what love is, I think. You know, it, it's, it can't be put in a box. And um, love is going above and beyond to, to prove what it is you say you love. Okay. So I'm going to go with going to the Bible standard right here. And love defined in the Bible is loving your neighbor as you love yourself and love the God with all your mind, heart and mind. So say that kind of backwards. God first, love God with all your heart and mind. So love your neighbor like you love, love yourself. So with that said, it's important for us, for people to have, especially Christians and especially men who lead in their homes to have a biblical standard to look to. It is because the biblical standard is really the origin. It's the genesis of love. Uh, because John uh, 3.16 said, for God so loved the world that he gave. Mm -hmm. So God loved the world so much that He there was a corresponding action to his love. And I go back to word and deed. He didn't just say when he, when he imagined man, he didn't just think about us. He said, there is something I got to do to extend myself or to, to express myself so that there would be a manifestation. And, and, and it will show up. There will be a, a, a display, a physical presentation. So uh, the biblical perspective is the genesis of love. And when we can uh, understand the biblical perspective, I think a lot of stuff uh, will transcend uh, the secular 
Uh, like my uh, my younger brother says, there's so many, you can say love means so many different things to, to different people. But if you go back to the biblical perspective, uh, you can't fail because uh, it's, it's the, like I say, it's the genesis, it's the origin of love. And, and how how do we get to love and where does it come from and what's the, the finished product of love? And so in John 3, 16, it shows us uh, what God did to, to, to show us just how much uh, he loved he loved us, but it also showed us the nature of love because God sent Jesus just to die. And so when you look at love, that love, it, it in, embodied in love and sacrifice. And so uh, for me to give up something of value for something greater. And so when you think about love, man, God gave himself in the form of Jesus, Yeshua, the Christ, just to redeem us and to free us and to see us uh, be the best us we can be in the earth. So the biblical perspective is, I think, it's the genesis of love. Uh, I mean, you know, um, the biblical, found, I think it's a great foundation, <laughs> but I think what happens so many times is um, on a side conversation, we kind of talk about it. Don't do something just because you were taught this way. Mm -hmm. Build on that foundation and keep learning and keep growing because you have that foundational truth within you and then make sure you know what you're doing because a lot of times you get into that, that mundane kind of the practice of I'm just doing this. Um, you know, a lot of times people will say I'm doing it because I know it's right, mm -hmm. but it's I'm doing it because I was told and I never found out for myself. So I think if you take that, and, and that's that's a big thing, you know, it's not just having the word there, but making sure you know what you got in front of you. Yeah. So it's a, it's a matter of building on that and making sure you experience that for yourself. And now you can add to what you know that foundation is. Mm -hmm. So now I can teach. It may be a little bit different than what I was taught, you know, by my parents when I teach that next generation. But now you still have that foundation there. Yeah. So, again, I think it's always important to have a good starting point. Great, great. All right. All right. I appreciate those questions. All right. Those answers, too.